Hello, this is Jennifer. Glad you're here. So this is a shortened, edited replay of a live that I did last week. This was a longer live because I did lots of cards in it. So the shortened version I'm hoping is helpful to some of you. Now this video is all about taking your card kits and making the most of them. I took several different kits in the video and showed you how to make a bunch of different cards and do a bunch of different techniques. Please remember that this is not one of my traditional, normally edited videos. Instead, I'm just taking bits and pieces of a live and putting them together so the editing isn't as good. However, I wanted to be able to give you a shortened version. If you want to learn more about the different things I talk about today and more ideas in general, be sure to check out that longer live, which I'll have linked up here on the top right and in my description below. I used Hero Arts My Monthly Hero Kits because I feel like they are such an incredible value for the cost and have such great variety. And you may hear me mention in the video something about a discount code. I'm just going to include it here. I normally don't. But this ends on March 26, 2024. You can get 20% off previous My Monthly Hero Kits over at Hero Arts. So I'm just sharing that in case you hear me mention it throughout the video. It's a unique offer and you can find uh, information about that and everything else that I talk about in the description below. Let's get started. The sale stuff is in the description, but keep in mind what I'm showing you today as always are things that you can do with other, um, with other products. I'm just, I got a lot of people asking about using kits. So that's what I'm focusing on today. So Hero Arts, the reason I mentioned that I've liked Hero Arts kits forever is the value is half no, the value is twice the cost. So you're really getting a lot of bang for your buck. But what they've started doing, I don't know how, how many, many months ago, they offer the two kits. You have the classic kit, and then there's the premium kit, which has everything from the classic, but more. So I'm going to show you this, these two kits. This, I, happen, I just cho chose three um, previous My Monthly Hero kits to use today. So these are all... Um, older kits. So hopefully some of you have them. And I have lots of cards for you today. I, I think I have like six cards and I've done a lot of it ahead of time. So it'll um, save some time. This is how the kit comes. I put that label on it, but this is the classic kit. Um, it comes with an idea card and a description of what's in it. But I do encourage you to go to their website because they always have lots of card examples, which I think is a huge perk for all of us. This kit has this specialty watercolor paper. I'm not going to be using that today, but I like that if they include something in it, it's usually something a little unique. Like if they include something non-reusable, I guess I should say. Then in here we have six sten layering stencils, which I'm going to use. There is this stamp set with lots of different greetings. Now this one came out in January, so there's a Valentine's. There's two Valentine message in there, but the rest of them you could use all year round, which I'll be using. There's a die that coordinates with those stencils. And then I love this, the love you. I think that's fantastic. So I have two cards today that use this. And then they have three ink cubes. These are Hero Arts core inks. If you have, um, ever watch my videos, you know that I love Hero Arts inks. They have beautiful colors, tried and true. I, I mean, some of their inks they I've had for 20 years and they just rebranded them to call them core, but it's the same, same inks. And I know they're high quality. So I, I won't be reaching for the cubes today because I have my full ink pads handy, but do know a lot of their kits come with cubes and it's a great way to try out different colors. This is the classic kit. So everything I showed you is in the classic kit and that is um, the January 2024 classic kit. Now the premium kit, as I mentioned, this is the same month, but it's the premium. It will have everything that the classic has. So you still have these dies, the stencils, the paper, but then there's added. In this one, there's an added die set, which I'll be using. There is, you also have the inks that the classic has. There's gold leafing, which gold leafing is super fun. This also has, it's called, it's like a rose gold shimmer spritz and a, a glitter sparkle lacquer pen. So you can see that 
these are the added things you get with the premium. So you don't want to sign up for both classic and premium because if you get the premium, you, you're going to be getting what the classic has. So you just pick one or the other. Let me do the stencils. There are five stencils in this. And one thing that Hero does with their layering stencils often that I love, let me just show you. There are little cutout squares in the four corners on each of the stencils. And if you put your stencil down and put a square in each corner, like put a mark in there, then the next one you line up those little registration marks too. Or you could just put it in the corner. Okay, so I've got stencil four and I have my favorite green um, from Hero Arts, which is the Fresh Lawn. And I'm just applying this over the stencil I am not gonna take a lot of great care with my stenciling. The layering stencil set I'm using today is very forgiving and it gives a really cool result. I do recommend when you have little nooks and crannies like this to go in both directions when you apply the ink because you wanna make sure you get into those nooks and crannies. So you can see a little uneven of the fresh lawn, but that's what I want. Now, so now remember, Hero puts these little squares in the corner. I can line them up with the squares I made a mark in the first time. I'm gonna go with indigo here. So indigo is, wait till you, look at this beautiful color, watch this. Boom, isn't that beautiful? I love that. It's like a, a, bright, um, a bright navy, I don't know. I'm gonna apply this. So I put lots of indigo on that. And there you can see it's starting to build. Okay, so now I'm on to stencil three. This time I'm going to use a lighter blue. All right, look at that. Look at how it's starting to form. This one I know, this Paradise I use a lot and I know it needs ranking. Okay, one more. This is another bold color. Uh, dark, I have trouble with dark inks. Like I'm kind of picky with my dark inks um, as I am with super light inks. And I feel like Hero Arts has really good light and really good dark inks. And look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna trim this down. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Oh, oh my gosh. So I'm a big fan of this because I don't have a whole lot of stencils that, um, that really cover a background. You know, do cover it quite well like this. There is this die, and believe it or not, this heart die lines up with the stenciling at the center. So you can use it with or without the dies. Let me show you. Look at this. So now you have a heart and look at this heart. It, it like cut it out perfect. So you could use this on a card too. All right. Look at that. Now I kind of wish I did that. So I have a top folding note card here, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to hold this right at the center. And then I'm going to pr put, place this right into the opening and tape it down. And then I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. So we have a hole in the front of our card. We're going to create a window. So I have a piece of acetate that I cut to be a bit smaller than this panel. Yep, a bit smaller than this panel. So I'm going to glue it right onto the front here. Okay, so I put a piece of acetate on the front of the card here. Now I'll put some adhesive on the back of my stenciled one. I, all right, so there we have, look at that, we've got a window. Now this I want to put on the inside, but I also want to be able to have a bigger space to write a personal message. So this is the trick I'm gonna do. This is a folded note card here. I keep a lot of things on, a lot of these on hand, top folding. I'm going to put my stencil or my die so that just the tippity top of the die is hanging off the folded line of the note card. So this is the folded line of the note card up here. I'm just gonna make a little bit of that hang off the top. See that? Let me take this off here. So remember I ran this through with the top of the die hanging over the crease edge. Okay, so now look it. I made a little heart like that. Isn't that fun? So I'm gonna take this heart and glue it onto the front of this little mini card here. So this is a little mini card and I'm gonna put that on the inside of the card. So here's how I line it up. I'm gonna take this mini card Flip it over, and you can do this with any die, any heart die. It doesn't have to be the one in this kit, but it's pretty cool how it cuts out that background, right? I'm gonna open this up. Adhesive is facing up here, and I'm gonna lay it in the window. Okay, I'm gonna have that glass of wine sooner, and close this onto the adhesive. So watch, now it's lined up when the card's closed, and now you can write a personal message in here. 
Okay, so I did this Love You Die set is in that kit and those January 2024 kits too. And so I cut it from white cardstock three times and glued it together for stacked dimension there. And I glued it right on front. It's the Hero Transfers with Sympathy. Okay, so my first, I think it was the first live I ever did, I think, was using Hero Arts Transfers. And if you've never used their transfers, they're fantastic. I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about the transfers right now because I don't wanna take up too much time. But they're really great for adding a quick sentiment. And you can see some of these transfers are white. See, these are white. And then there's black in here. And it allows you to quickly get a sentiment anywhere. You can just add it onto acetate, add it to onto anything. But I'm going to add it onto a scrap of cardstock here because this is going to give me the look. What's cool about this is it's going to make it look like I white heat embossed on black, but I didn't have to deal with it. Yes, I love their, uh, Kimberly, I agree. I love their transfers. June, I agree too. Um, they're not like they were when we were, when we were kids. They work much better. So now I can peel this off and look at that nice, quick sentiment. I just did it on a scrap. We'll get dessert tonight too. <laughs> okay, so here's the card. It opens up, it's see-through here, but you can see how that's that continuous floral pattern, and then this opens up too. Now here is another one that I made to practice. This one I did the same colors, but instead of the um, Paradise and Bermuda, I did um, spicy mustard and so this yellow here is butter bar and I've used butter bar for 20 some years it's great for any florals so two different color versions this one I did a white heat embossed sentiment on black oh I just pulled that off okay um, I told you that the premium kit has the same things as the classic kit but has these added goodies I loved these dies. So these are the dies that are included in the premium kit from January 2024. And this does include the stencils and all the other things I used on the other cards. So if you were to want to make these cards plus the one I'm about to do, you'd want to do the premium. But look through your supplies. See what you have on hand. Chances are you've got things that would work for this. I'm gonna show you a pretty universal technique here. To save time, I did a lot of this off screen. So I used, I went through my scraps and I just made a cluster of die cut flowers. Aren't those flowers fun? I just think they're uh, unique, a little bit different style than anything I've uh, used in the past. The Love is the same die that I used for the Love You and I just stamp sending right above it. So I changed the sentiment up a little bit. I put everything onto a uh, rounded corner rectangle. Here are all of the rounded rectangle dies. So I used this, this size rectangle die here to do the white rounded corner rectangle that I assembled all those die cuts on. So this is a um, top folded, four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. I wanna make it a rounded one. Now, if you have a corner rounder, you could use that, but I want it to match the rounded rectangle on here. So I'm gonna take this die, and it's a little bit smaller than an A2 card, and that's just what I chose. And I'm putting it so that the top cutting edge, see that top cutting edge is hanging off the folded edge of my note card. Now I have a rounded edge note card because I just let the top edge of the die hang off the folded edge. I stamped that on this, this is um, just some pool, pool note card that I had and I stamped it with that paradise ink. And look at, isn't that a fun background stamp? What I also did to give this a nice finished look is I used another rectangle die and cut from white cardstock and glued that to the inside. Isn't that how nice how it just looks when you open it up? So we're gonna do something that will make this pop up as soon as you take it out of the envelope. This is something you could do with any time you have like a big element on the front of the card that you wanna pop up as soon as it comes out. This is a piece of cardstock. It could be any color because nobody's gonna see it. It's gonna be behind. This, I, I cut it to three inches by four and a half inches, okay? So three inches by four and a half. And we're gonna put some score lines on this. And this is gonna end up giving us a pop-up feature. I've done variations of this in videos, but I don't think I've ever done one this simple. So I wanted to share that today. So on this, I'm gonna put a score line at a half inch. I'll do another score line at one inch. 
and then one and a half inches. Okay, so I did three score lines, each a half inch apart here. Then I'm going to rotate it and do the same thing again. Half inch, one inch, and one and a half inches. Okay, so there's three score lines here, three score lines here. All right, so I did accordion fold on each end, folded one way, then the other way, then the other way, and you end up with this funny looking thing. And basically, with those little back and forth folds, you have two little springs on the side there. So this is going to form a spring that can go behind here, just using some strong double-sided tape here. So now there is adhesive on this flap and this flap right here, there and there. And I'm going to take this and put it, press it down right as close to the center as I can get, and press that down really well. Yes, I'm making a paper spring. Watch. Pop it pops up. So it'll flatten for the mail and pop up when it comes out. So now there's adhesive on here and I can take this and I got to kind of look above. So sorry if my head gets in the way. I'm going to press that down onto it, press it down well, and now look at how that whole front pops up. And look at that fun dimension. So now this is going to look really cool standing on display. See? So really you can put anything on this centerpiece. It could be a big circle, it could be whatever. I just really liked the style of these, these dies. And so yeah, it'll flatten to go in an envelope and then it pops up. See that? And I just love in the shadow that you get behind it. Isn't that fun? Those were my two, well, I have three cards here. Three cards using the January 2024 premium kit. You could do all of these. If you do the classic, you could do this because these dies aren't in the classic one. But keep in mind, these can be done with a variety of different products too. All right, so this time I'm looking at a much older kit. This is July, 2023. In here, we've got this rubber stamp that has like a weave texture. We're gonna use that for a fun technique now. Reactive ink, Hero Arts has reactive inks that react with water. Uh, I can demonstrate that in a moment, but what's cool about this, this is ombre. So you have three colors and you can ink up a stamp with the like blend of color very easily. Love these ink pads, I'm gonna demonstrate this. So this comes in the kit. Then we have, I need to find a piece of paper. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just so you can see, this stamp set, I think this is fantastic because these kind of stamp silhouette stamps are something that you can do a lot of fun techniques with. So um, I'll be demonstrating with this. And I also like the sentiments here, especially this, have a beautiful day. I like the style of it. And there are cute little butterflies. I'm gonna use the butterfly. Then there is also this die set of the little dandelions. I don't use that today, but I like the detail of it. And that's another good one. So those things are included in the classic kit. And then there's the, oh, oh, oh wait, there's this too. There is, I'll flip this over so you can see. There is a die here that has like a grass and then it's like a forest window. I'm gonna show you, um, show you a visual of that because I didn't get to use it today, um, but it is included. Um, let me see if you can see here. Here's an example with that forest window. See how there's a shaker window of a forest window there? That uses this die set. Now that is the classic kit. I do want to show you the premium kit. So the premium kit has um, all of the same dies, the forest dies, the grass, the dandelion. It's got this uh, texture stamp and it's got the big stamp set and um, the same reactive ombre ink pad, multicolored ink pad. But this one also includes, the premium also includes the card, a bunch of card stock. These are like some fun uh, ephemera that you can quickly add onto a card. There's tons of little things, super easy to use. And then these dies, which are fantastic because it's got like a water and like a beach scene, like you can have a picnic. Then there's like a picnic basket with the pie and the champagne and the glasses. So you can create fun little picnic scenes, which goes nicely with um, life's a picnic sentiment. What I did here is I stamped this large like wildflower image with black ink on the bottom of this like light mist colored cardstock and I stamped have a beautiful day in black. I love 
black silhouette images. You can also do like a white heat embossed silhouette image and do like dark inking over it. Really cool too, but I'm keeping it simple for this. Okay, so now I'm going to do a fun technique that you can do with a solid stamp and a detailed stamp. So we're going to do some kissing to get some texture. Lila just gave me a look. We're going to get some texture to our butterfly. So we could stamp our butterfly solid because it's a solid stamp, but we're going to do some kissing in, um, instead. So th this is in the kit though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up my butterfly so it's half one color and half the other because why not, right? So I'm going to just kind of pounce this and I, I'm going kind of back and forth a little bit so that the two colors blend in the middle. In the, the kits. it's what? The monthly kits. Yeah, the monthly kits. There's a link. Now I just, I inked up my stamp. I kissed it onto this stamp that has nothing on it. And now I'm gonna come over and stamp this. Where do I wanna stamp it? I'm gonna stamp it right there. So now instead of a solid butterfly, do you see I've got a little texture to it, which is fun. And that's what crafting's all about, right? So now, and I've remember I've got ink on here. We'll come back to it in a moment. I did it on this one. So now let's do another. So this time I will remember to kiss. All right, so I'm inking that up and then I'm gonna stamp on here to kiss and then go. You, kissing is where you stamp two stamp, press two stamps together. So see there's that texture. So these two butterflies have that texture because I remembered to kiss, forgot to kiss here. But look at that fun, soft texture. Now the cool thing is, look at this. I could do fill this with butterflies, right? Now watch this. I can take, well, let's just do it this way. Can take white cardstock, press on here. And there we have our butterflies transferred there too. Why is it I want to do it? Do you see it? There we go. See that texture? Isn't that fun? I wanted to demonstrate that, but let me show you um, some cards I did with that. Here is one that I made just as I showed you. I did the kissed butterflies there. I matted that background on black cardstock and added some black gems. Really fast to do, and I think it's nice and striking. I think that's really neat. You could change up the colors. Now here, remember how I showed you how I pressed this white cardstock onto my woven stamp and pulled the ink off of that? Well, I did that on, then I die cut a vase from it. So those, those butterflies were made with the leftover ink. So I did the other side of the kissing on this one. And then I just assembled a card around it. I just thought it'd be fun on a vase there. So let's move on. This is the last uh, month of kits that I was going to look at today. This is February 2024 Classic, February 2024 Premium. So let's see what's in here. So this is the February 2024 Classic Kit. Now in this comes, we have some, I think this is wa uh, premium white cardstock. So this is very heavyweight cardstock. There is a unicorn ink pad, which you know I've been using Hero Arts Unicorn White Pigment Ink for ages. Um, there is this large stamp set. So these are six by eight stamp sets. So this is a big one. And I really like, like the sending. And you can put sending love, sending happiness, sending kindness. I'll be using that today. Just like how you can build sentiments. And then these images that for me, super easy to color, which I was excited about. And different vases you can use. There's some twine. And then look at all the dies. You have the dies that will cut out the words. Then the premium, remember the premium has everything the classic has, but more. Okay. This is the premium. So in the premium, again, you have the big stamp set, all of the dies, the cardstock, the ink, the, the twine. But in the premium, you also get this, which I really like. And I'm going to use on my second card. In here, there's so much. Okay, is this awesome stencil, which I'm going to use. And it actually has the center too, if you want to block off the center. Love this. Then there are the words imagine and peace. Peace would be awesome even for the holidays. There is, I think this is white embossing powder. Then look at all this ephemera. Oh my gosh. These, it, look at how many there are. There's words, there's quotes, there's little flowers, clouds, lots of different pieces here. And then a stamp set, it's hard to see on here because I used it. Um, 
the sentiments are, you make my world brighter, let your light shine, and some clouds, and these work nicely at the center of the stencil, okay? So I'm gonna do one card that <clears throat> you could do with the classic kit or the premium, and then the second card is for the, with these premium editions. The flower image in here, I just like that it's different than, a, I like flower stamps, I always have, I always will, but I like that these are a little bit different this Hawaiian flower. Thank you, Lila. And it's super easy to color because they're just those teardrop shapes. So I did some practicing of my coloring this afternoon. How you can make a really fast pop-up, another version of a pop-up. So what I done is I stamped, colored, and die cut that flower image. And I'm going to take another one. I want him to be really strong because he's going to stand up. So I just have another plain die cut I'm gluing to the back. So now that I have this image, and remember there are different vases. There's even a bow you can add on here and it's nice and strong, okay? So still two inches long. I'm gonna score at a quarter of an inch, okay? The first one's at quarter of an inch. The second's at three quarters. The next one is at one and a quarter and then two and three quarter inches. So now see how these two little flaps are a little bit smaller, but it still meets in the center. So what I did is I put adhesive on one flap, one end, and then on the other end. Now this little flap here, I'm gonna put right on the bottom. So see how it's glued, that little flap right there is glued. Now this one I'm gonna wrap around and meet up against the other. So now you've got this cube standing up on the front. See that? You see that the two ends met up in the middle there? And I put adhesive right here on the top. And now I'll flatten it and I'm gonna lay this onto it so that the bottom edge of my vase lines up with the bottom edge of the card. So I'm gonna just press this down. Dooby -doo -boo. Press it on there. And now this will pop up, okay? So it flattens nicely to go in the envelope, but then it can pop up. So I just kind of work it back and forth a little bit and it'll pop up and it will stand. And what's cool is like the edge of the vase hits the table, the edge of the card hits the table, and it's got a lot of dimension to it. Isn't that fun? So you could put this at the bottom. It, it, I will do more techniques like this in the future, but by putting that little pop-up on the bottom, it'll pop up nicely and stand on the desk nicely. One more, and this one uses this stencil and stamp set that's available in the premium version of this kit. And this one doesn't take long at all. So this is a grip, uh, a sticky mat from Altenew. It just, it's like a giant clear stamp and it will just hold my cardstock and my stencil in place. But you could use tape, whatever you want. So this is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch top folding note card. And I'm gonna put that on there and then I have this great stencil that is from the February 2024 premium kit. So this stencil is only available in that kit. So I'm gonna put some heavy amount of ultra pink down. I'm gonna move on to my next one. This is papaya. So this is lemon yellow. So yeah, I now I'm on to paradise. I've used this a few times today. To cornflower. This is a great blue. Let me show you what it looks like. Look at that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Um, also remember, Hero Arts inks are one of those great inks that kind of slowly absorb into the paper, smooth out and soften. And look at that, isn't that beautiful? Mm, 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 mm. What I'm gonna do is I did that really nice and bright and you saw how fast it was, but I'm gonna put the stencil back down, but rotated and repeat the process, but go lighter handed this time. Isn't that cool? Just repeating it again with the light hand. Mm. I hate to cover, cover up that center cause it's pretty. I stamped it with black ink and die cut it with a circle die and matted it with black. Isn't that fun? With the stuff that's in the premium. And then this one was made with the supplies in the classic or in the premium. Because remember the premium has the same as the classic but extra. All right, there you have bits and pieces from my last live. If you have never watched one of my longer lives, I do recommend you trying them because I really try to stay on topic. I keep talk the talk about crafting and I answer a lot of questions and also share other random ideas throughout. So you can check out that live, the full live, if you want here at the end, along with another recommended video. 
Everything else is in the description below. I thank you for spending this time with me and I'll be back soon with another video.